How are you doing, YouTube? My name is Rob, and I am showing you right now my mixed African Cichla tank. Um, it does have haps and peacocks, and also Manuba in there, Mabuna, sorry. Um, and um, this tank has been running now for about a month and a half. Um, I got them all as juveniles, and they're growing quite well. Um, there's not much aggression in the tank. It looks a pretty peaceful tank thus far. Just a normal um, shooing of people around, but no uh, major aggression, no um, fin nipping or uh, beating up of other um, fish. Uh, there's no real stress that I can see from my tank, um, and things are going quite well. I just wanted to um, give you a look of what I have here and how I'm able to successfully so far keep this uh, mixed tank. I got them all as juveniles. I made sure that the haps of the peacocks were larger than the mabunas um, when I placed them in here and things have been going pretty well. Um, I only had one real act of fish aside, I guess you can call it. Um, that living stony as you see swinging on by right there, he's the, the big boy of the tank um, and he will put a fish in his mouth if he can fit it and he can um, sneak up on him. So um, you gotta make sure that the, the fish in there are bigger than the living stony can can eat is the best way to put it um, or make sure that he's um, not hungry um, he usually leave him alone if he's fed um, at a position where he is not hungry but not fed overfed so that he's gonna get bloat or anything like that um, things are going quite well um, up there on the top is a star sapphire juvenile he's still kind of small but he's getting a good size now um, you probably see a blue dolphin running around right there. There he is. A few yellow tail um, ACIs. We got, of course, some yellow labs in there. Um, the orange guys are cherry red zebras. You'll see also um, in and out um, moving here and there. Uh, maybe uh, some um, manganos and um, there's a um, sequelify that you just saw right there over by the fake plant. He's sitting right there now at the top, kind of controlling his area. Um, but it's a nice tank. Um, up at the top is, he's not a, I originally thought he was going to be a um, sunshine peacock, but I don't think he is. I think he's just a hybrid of some sort that I kind of rescued out of someone's tank nearby. Um, he's a pretty fish though. He's not bad. Um, he is what he is. And there goes a um, firefish peacock right there. He's pretty. Um, in there is also a German Red. He's kind of hiding right now in the back. He's not hiding. He just kind of—he's a small, he's the smaller peacock out of it, a bunch. He kind of just hangs out in the back until feeding time comes around, and he'll show his face. There's also some some you can see in there every now and then the um, some um, what am I thinking about? What are their names? Uh, Seleucis. There's a you could, there's a couple of female Seleucis and a male Seleuci in there. Um, he hasn't shown his face just yet, but he's in there. Um, and overall, it's a pretty good tank. I'm very happy with it. Uh, I'm going to be adding a, a second filter real soon, a, another Sunsun 704B. I have one right now in there. Um, in there has um, about a kilogram of scented glass, um, ceramic um, scented glass rings, and uh, about two kilograms of Biohome Ultimate. And that's just not enough to keep up with the nitrates. Um, tanks well cycled, zero ammonia, zero nitrites. But the nitrates are still a, a difficult thing to keep under control. Um, you'll, I see them get relatively high, and I do about 75 to 80% water changes weekly on this right now. Um, and at the tail end of that period of time, it can get pretty high, those nitrates, um, higher than I would like, 100 parts per million, somewhere around that range. Um, but So I'm trying to tame that by adding a second um, second filter on there um, with some more Biohome Ultimate, putting in, try to keep put about six kilograms total in there to have the anaerobic bacteria in there, the slow growing stuff that um, hopefully will keep the nitrates at a reasonable level in between water changes. Um, I'll still continue to do a weekly water change, but hopefully um, it will keep me, you know, under the 20 to 30 level that I like to be uh, in general. 
So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed my tank. Um, I will be doing a, a setup video for that Sun Sun 704B. That's going to be um, hosting a lot of that biohome for the denitrifying bacteria to control the nitrates. And I'll show you how I set that set that up and put it into the tank. And um, I'll give you some more tips and and show you how this tank continues to move along. I'm fully expecting that I'll eventually have to move these Mabuna out into their own tank. I have another tank kind of getting ready for them. Uh, it's a large tank um, for them. Um, and this will just primarily be a hat and peacock tank to begin with. I know that you see right now a um, flame back hat right there going by. He's a juvenile still. He's getting his red top, but still not fully colored up. And that's the story. Take care now.